Oh yeah, dude. I'm just just old NASCAR driver. Just old guy. Yeah. Um, you're, um, you're up here racing. You were in Davenport last night. In Davenport, uh, run here tonight and go to uh, Dubuque, Dubuque tomorrow. So a little three-day IMCA swing uh, up in Canada and Indiana the last two weeks. So uh, it's that time of year. We're kind of all over. Yeah. It's, uh, how many nights a year are you going on racing? Well, we're usually. <laughs> I want to say we've been shooting for 70, but boy, weather's been playing heck with us. Uh, we've been rained out 18 already this year, and I think tonight will be like night 22 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that would have been so good. Yeah, we'd be right at the party. Yeah. Oh, that's the audio here. But, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, what, uh, as a NASCAR fan, this is kind of, kind of, uh, audio's going on. It was, now it's not. We're good. We had a pretty good delay. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, well, it's, 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 but, um, but, um, gotta talk about, about you, you, how, how did you get started, started off? Uh, 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 my daddy. daddy. My daddy, daddy uh, uh, he ran a general, general automotive repair, repair shop, shop in the St. Louis area, area, and right outside of St. Louis, and he raced forever, you know, as many as five nights a week in the early 50s and stuff, and he was still running when I started. Uh, actually, he raced some that year, but they built a car for me, a little hobby car. And he ran the first four races of the year because I wasn't, the uh, first four weeks of the year, I wasn't old enough. And I turned 16, and uh, away we went. It was, started, it was, been going around circles ever since. Yeah, yeah. So, so it started off and off. And, um, how did that progress from, from, from racing 16 to like a hobby yeah. level, level up to. Well, we, uh, we were in a little pavement track uh, in the St. Louis area, Lake Hill Speedway. And, uh, oh, I guess two years later, maybe, uh, I drove a dirt car for my uncle one night, uh, a late model, 65 Ford or something like that, and uh, really enjoyed that. And then we started running some dirt and uh, still run the asphalt, still run the dirt, run the same car. And uh, I begged the guy in to let me hot lap his midget one night. <laughs> And he let me, uh, we, we made five or six laps, we didn't hit nothing. He let me start in the back of the feature, we run fifth. And uh, the next week we run second. And we cut one a couple weeks after that. Now I'm a midget driver. And someone hired me to drive their sprint car because we were running pretty good in the midget. Then I got to drive a silver crown car. And it just kind of went from there, you know, and just, uh, we won a couple of USAC, uh, we won the Sprint Car Championship and the Silver Crown Championship. But I was driving a dirt car for some people, a dirt late model for some people in St. Louis, and had a strong connection to uh, Jack Roush and stuff. And I met some people through Jack up at uh, uh, Michael Cranifus and Lee Morris at Ford Motor Company. And when they refired up their racing program, and... Uh, I just got to know them pretty good. I begged them away, and uh, they they uh, they got me in a cup car for five races in '84, and I got hired uh, for '85, and then milked that job for the next 29 years. Oh, um, in racing, the difference because you're because you're way your way you're a NASCAR. You know, you really really when you're starting off, you had you still were still racing with a lot of the guys that was there there on the foundation before you got out of out of it. You're really racing with some of the same guys that are out there now. What was your biggest change you kind of saw within the drivers and how the how the sport itself was from the mid '80s to when you when you got out of out of it? Well, just you know, it just grew so much. The drivers, obviously, you know, uh, when I started, uh, Kale uh, Yarbrough and Buddy Baker and King were still there, uh, Dale and Richmond, those guys, uh, Harry Gant. Uh, and when I ended, you know, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the kids when I started, to, actually, I think it was 92, so it wasn't that much after I started, when uh, Jeff Gordon started. And... Uh, you know, now, heck, a lot of the guys that were there when I left are, are senior guys now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but there's so many, they got so many good kids in there now. I mean, 
just, just talent, talent like you wouldn't believe. And, and uh, they're, they're running, running so hard, so hard now. now. I mean, we used to run hard, but we're not running like those kids are running now. They're, those, and, and with the segments and stuff, they, they've got to run hard all day long. So I really enjoy watching it now. You like, you like, that's kind of, kind of a... It, 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 it seems like all, all racing, racing fans, fans change change something. something. They, 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 they don't change, don't change it, they get mad, they get mad, they get mad, they get mad, they get mad. The segments is a polarizing subject, subject because, because some, some fans hate it. I personally, I was, when I was going, going, we still was going we still to Chicago, Chicago, Chicago land, land, and it made the mile and a half tracks a little more exciting, because sometimes the mile and a half would kind of become a stretch fest, and you're going, what do you feel about, you know, as coming from, you know, you were, you were, was an hour, 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 was you know, they can you know, say they whatever, say they, whatever they, want. they want, you know, and yeah. people, people, <laughs> people uh, love to find a reason to, to complain. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, segments, the segments, you can you can you say whatever you want about them. It's, it's just two yellow, yellow flags, flags that you know when they're coming. coming. <laughs> That's all it is, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then when they reward the points for how you're running at the end of those yellows, that's what's That's got what's everybody running, running so, hard so hard now. I mean, they've run hard the whole race. We didn't used to do that. Uh, so, yes, I, I really enjoy it. And, it, you know, it rewards the guys that are up front all day long, you know. Yeah, great. It's, you know, the goal is to win the race. That's what everybody wants to do. But uh, it's pretty hard to win the race now and not be up front in the other two segments. Yeah, it's pretty once in a while. It's kind of the rare, rare guy, guy right. coming back. Way back. way back but so i mean so, so i mean the, the level level competition, competition is there but, there but what what what's what's keeping what's the drive the drive going for them i mean i mean not your passion back and back, 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 back i mean i know you're not going to do asphalt staying you know doing what you want to travel around well i just uh i enjoy enjoying driving dirt a lot more you know uh you know i don't know i mean i just enjoy driving dirt a lot more you know uh you drive down and turn the asphalt track and if the grooves around the bottom then everyone's at the bottom and you try to move up the lane and work on a guy a little bit Heck with the dirt track, you, if everyone's around the bottom, you just blast around the top, or you shoot the middle, or you go in, you know, you go in at the bottom and slide up to the top, or, you know, you just, I think it's a lot more options as far as where you can run on a racetrack. And every now and then you get a little hole or two, and, you know, you can work those to your advantage, too. You can make, keep the car from sliding, or, or make the car turn easier, or whatever you want. Uh, now, I love watching asphalt still. But my heart's, my heart's, my heart's with, with the dirt. dirt. Yeah. And I mean, I, I think, mean, I think it's just, there's, it's just, something, there's something different, different about, about and, and, and you, the amount, the amount of different, different tracks, tracks you get to, what's a, what's a, how, how do you set, do you up, set up, up your car? Like, like you came into, you've never raced a before, correct? Correct. Yeah. And how, how do you, you know, you have your full crew with you, how do you know to set that up? Just kind of guessing on, this will look, this will look, this will look like you're going to walk in the hot kind of, you know, you know, the you know the all these tracks, you know, they can go up, uh, obviously the gear, uh, you know, you kind of guess on the size of the track and how much speed you think it'd be carrying, uh, and you look at the bank, but all of them, you just go down straight away and make a 180 and come back. I mean, it's, it's no rocket science to us, you know, they're, they they're kind of do the same thing or all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, don't make this too complicated. You see, that's like when we ran a lot of different type cars. Once you're sitting in there, you only got a steering wheel and two pedals that really do much. You know, I mean, this, I've never been given an IQ test on this job, and I've had some pretty good gigs in this in this industry, and they, they, don't, give, they don't care how smart you are. They just want you to go around that circle fast now. So, so all the cars have been, been in, in the years, years what one, one, if you had the opportunity to jump in, jump in, in behind the scenes, one, 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 is, is it modified right now, now, or is it, is it go back into a sprint or a midget car? Well, I ran a sprint car last week up at Indiana at the Little 500. We broke this year. We'd run top 10 the last two years. I like, you know, a lot of things change. There's a difference between being 24 and 64. Uh, 64 now, I like my modified. <laughs> I don't think I like the midget in the sprint car as much as I used to. Uh, we're going to run Chili Bowl next year. We, we hadn't run it in a number of years. And I'm going to run a midget outdoors here in a couple of weeks up in uh, Massachusetts and stuff. But uh, I enjoy the modified. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of fun. I mean, I think that's really, 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 really,
a lot of a lot of music really, really coming, coming almost almost on the part of what you're seeing on the late model. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, well just, it's just, uh, just uh, you know, you know cost-wise, it's so much so more uh, easier to run the cam- uh, campaign, the modified around the country, than it is a uh, late model cost-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Late yeah. Late the, the, the open late model race has kind of got such a level level that's just make you rethink stuff yeah he really did yeah they're extremely fast now what um what um what other what other well we got uh, we got modified uh obviously we have a uh, uh, a couple of UM, uh, um, IMCA, IMCA modifieds, modifieds and um, two UMP, UMP modifieds, modifieds, and we can run the UMP as a USMTS also. You know, quite a bit of speed difference at some tracks between the UMP modifieds and, and the IMCA, uh, but all same basic things, just engine tires. Uh, we got ARCA cars that we run every now and then. Uh, we won the ARCA championship two years ago with Austin Terrio. Uh, driving for us. Uh, ran a little over half the races last year. This year we're just running, picking and choosing, running some of the, some of the races. Um, and that's about it anymore. Uh, we used to have some more stuff, but that's we've, we've weeded it down to just that. Yeah. Now, um, I have some listeners that wouldn't be able to throw the terms like IMCA and you're coming to speed different. What? what? You know, in you kind, of kind of like for a general, for general fan, fan, what's the what's difference on IMCA and my divider? I mean, up here we've seen IMCA, and I know we just told you about a few hours south, and it's all you and P. Yeah. Well, obviously tire. Okay. The UMP tire has a tire that has more grip it just gets more traction uh, which makes no difference because everybody that race has has that same tire uh, UMP is a $30,000 750 horsepower engine IMCA is a $7,500 450 horsepower engine uh, I I own part of UMP at one time okay okay uh, I'm getting becoming more and more partial to the IMCA rules, uh, just because cost-wise, uh, it's more effective. Uh, last night, uh, you know, we're at a weekly show with 27 modifieds. Yeah, that's a fantastic car count for a weekly show. Uh, IMCA has just done a better job of keeping the racers under control, uh, which the sanctioned body has to do that because the racers. All they think about is going faster and beating the guy next to them. Everyone always forgets the part about, okay, I'm going to spend $5,000 more, and it's going to make me a lot faster. But they're all going to spend the $5,000 too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, I, I just think IMCA does a, an excellent job. Yeah, I mean, yeah, last, I mean night, last night, that was a great party. party. Had, uh, had, uh, I mean, it, it, it was kind of a kind perfect storm with that because, 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 because junction, that, junction that, that I know there's some modified stuff up there because they had to cancel they had, because they had, they had, they had uh, basically, basically an unsafe track, track outside, outside of three was late. So if a car had gone for the leap, it would have been a little bit of a leap behind. Yeah, yeah, and here tonight, we don't have to park so far so in, but if anything had, we should have... Yeah, yeah, which is yeah. fantastic yeah, yeah, for a yeah, weekly yeah, show. Yeah, which is fantastic for a weekly show. Yeah, which is last week we learned we had 38 sport mods show up. And I'm like, we're picking more cars out that aren't making the features and some tracks. It's just, you know, it's a great 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 now, do you still, now, do you still what's, what's, what's you, would you, you, I know you travel, travel around, around a lot. What's your what's local, local like, out, 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 out there, out there, out there, out there from over here? What's your local travel? Well, uh, uh, we're, we're part owner uh, of uh, Federated Outer Parts Raceway, Peebley, Missouri, mm-hmm. which, is which is underwater, underwater and, has and has been. Could have raced one, one night this year. One night this year it could have raced, which was our World of Outlaw Sprint Car Show. And it got rained out. So, but we should be going by maybe the end of June or first of July, and then uh, Macon Speedway, Macon, Illinois, 
Uh, both uh, where they run UMP late miles and UMP modifieds. Okay. Okay. Well, we might have, we might have to make our trips down there. Some point. Yeah. Once, once, once the flood once the floodwaters recede. recede. <laughs> but, um, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming for on. Coming on. Hey, 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 on. You know, just you thanks, know, just for, thanks for the whole the whole career, 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 career,